it's april 12. friends i'm very grateful to you for your help you can't even imagine how important it is thanks to you i have the opportunity sometimes to forget about our constant horror to distract myself from the war without your help i couldn't buy books for my daughter which she needs for studying set aside money for a trip to see my parents whom I still dream of seeing alive, support my family and not fail into complete despair. All this is possible because of you. If I could, I would hug each and every one of you tightly. I want to tell you about one thing that I always carry with me. Of course, I always have my gear, combat boots, body armor and weapons, and also a first aid kit, power banks and e-reader. But that's not all. I always carry a Ukrainian flag with me. It's always in my bag. And not just one. I try to have several. From time to time I replenish my supply of flags, which quickly run out. They run out because I give them away. I give them to soldiers who have moved to new positions, leaving their flags behind at the old ones. I give them to civilians in liberated territories where the Russians have destroyed everything, even remotely connected to Ukraine. I once gave a flag to an old woman in a liberated village. When the Russians came, she took down her flag, which had been flying over her house, wrapped it in a plastic bag and buried it somewhere in her garden. She didn't want the occupiers to destroy it. And when she forgot where she buried it, so she took mine. But she promised to give it back to me as soon as she found her. She's a wonderful person. I hope she's doing well. Children in frontline cities also eagerly take the flags. They wave them when convoys of military vehicles pass by their cities on their way to the front, when helicopters fly over their homes, when funeral processions with the coffins of wars killed by occupiers pass through their streets. Maybe some of the flags I distributed are now flying over the cemeteries. I've already told you about the tradition of placing flags over the graves of fallen soldiers, so our flags are important both for living and for the dead. That's why they run out so quickly and need to be bought again. Such a simple flag, blue on top and yellow on the bottom, but it contains so much meaning, so much sense, now it's a true symbol of a free world, of freedom itself. And I am happy and proud to give my flags to people. For me it's an honor to be one who can share such an important symbol. By the way, I share this honor with you, because I replenish my stock of flags thanks to your help too. So thank you once again.